Hello friends, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. Myself, Shoumen Lala, welcoming you Pharma Awareness Channel. Yes, from the description of the video, you have already got the information that what topic we will discuss through this video. Yes, that is audit trail. Those who are working in pharmaceutical GXP environment, they know what is the importance of audit trail and how it helps us to maintain the compliance in any GMP environment. Before moving to the topic, first of all, we need to know that what is audit trail. Audit trail is nothing but a digital footprint of any GXP application. It helps us to gather some information associated with the actions related to the creation, modification or deletion of any GXP record. It includes the user management as well as the process related data. Next, do you know when and what purpose the audit trail first used? The audit trail first came in use during ancient time when rudimentary method was introduced. It helps us to manage the goods, soldiers or any financial transaction information to have the record within a single platform. After that, this audit trail came to pharmaceutical or GXP environment. Audit trail ensures data integrity and it came to limelight in the year 1997 when US regulators introduces the 21 CFR Part 11. Part 11 requires the use of secure computerized system generated data. It helps us to monitor the timestamped audit trail to independently record the date and time of operator entries and actions that creates, modify or delete any electronic records. Yes viewers, as we all are working in pharmaceutical GXP environment, we have to know the basic features of audit trail and the, some of the basic informations of audit trail. So first step, do you know what is the data that should capture in GXP application audit trail? To know that one, we have to first categorize our audit trail in two parts. One is operative audit trail. Operative audit trail is the part of audit trail where it captures the operation related data. It includes creation, modification or deletion of any process data. It also includes the data generated during the analysis or any manufacturing activity. That means all the operation related data shall be captured in this part of audit trail. Another section is the administrative audit trail. This administrative audit trail captures the user management related activity including creation, deletion or modification of user roles, privileges and it also helps us to capture the system configuration related changes. It focuses on the active users, privilege access log, user roles, all these things. So we can identify the user related any creation or modification through this audit trail. Then what we can understand that in the single platform of audit trail, this operative audit trail as well as administrative audit trail should be captured. And that is the platform. All this information related to operation and as well as related to administrative activity shall be captured. Yes, audit trail information should have following critical components like when, when the data was generated, the time and date stamp of the data generated. Yes, friends, if the data is generating in the GXP application, then what time and when did it was captured? that information shall be available in the application audit trail. Next one is who. Who is the person or who is the user that generates the data? That information shall be captured in the audit trail because through that one, we can identify the person that who has generated the data or who has modified the data. Next one is what. What means the person or the operator what is doing and what what are the activities he or she is performing and what is generating 
that includes the action related messages of the application like if you are starting any analysis that action message is the what the operator is doing for example if any operator is starting any analysis that data shall be captured through a action message so that is nothing but what is the operator is doing in the application next part is why so if operator or user is changing something then that comments shall be captured in the audit trail apart from this additionally the audit trail of gxp application should capture the login and logout that means the session time of any user of an application it also includes the automatic log off that means if user is not using the application and what time the system will automatically log off that shall be captured in your audit trail next part is generation of error data suppose any error message is generating in the application and that shall be captured in the audit trail in any action message or in any error message next part is administrative activity shall be captured in the audit trail from compliance point of view it is very much critical because who is the person is doing the administrative activity in the application and from this information we can easily trace the person who is doing the administrative activity and what purpose he is doing next one is user management related activity so there will be an administrator or it administrator who is the responsible person to assign the privilege or role to the user so this all information shall be captured in audit trail and from that section of audit trail we can easily identify who is the person is creating the user and who is the person is modifying the data and who is the person who is managing the data with respect to compliance point of view so friends recalling all the information that audit trail must have when who what and why these are the critical information of audit trail and that should be captured in your gxp application audit trail now the second part what is the role of audit application audit trail in compliance so from audit trail we can easily identify any unauthorized activity if any user is doing unauthorized activity uh, so that can be easily identified through the audit trail next is the verification of user specific activity if we want to see the user activity with respect to is assign privileges then our audit trail should have the capability to better to uh, capture the all these informations verification of date and time of generating data if the data is generating and what time and who is generating the data all this information shall be captured and that is the part of compliance so with respect to electronic sign off if is application is having multiple sign off levels like sign off 1 sign off 2 then that shall be a part of compliance and from the audit trail we can easily ensure that who is the person is doing the electronic sign off and what time he is doing the activity so these are the nothing but the critical component of a compliance to maintain a regulatory gxp environment with respect to considering the patient safety our data is the quality data so each and every data is critical to us to maintain the compliance or to maintain the accuracy as well as integrity of data your audit trail is very much important why because if your data is changeable or editable and that shall be captured in audit trail through audit trail you can assure that yes my data is accurate and it is safe with respect to compliance as well as patient safety point of view yes the critical part of audit trail is it is the only way to meet the expectation of compliance from audit point of view yes friends many times we have seen that auditor first challenging the audit trail of the application why because this is the only platform from that we can easily track any user related or any process related change modification so this is the critical component of application and we have to ensure that my audit trail is the perfect one because if any change or unauthorized changes captured in your audit trail and 
any auditor has identified that one so that will be a challenge with respect to your compliance now how you will maintain compliance with respect to audit trail so how to maintain the compliance to audit trail there are certain points are there first and foremost things your audit trail shall be periodically monitored or periodically reviewed by quality section of your site if you have the critical gxp system that that frequency of reviewing the application shall be very much critical because frequency of audit trail review shall be defined based on the criticality of gxp system if your system is the critical one then your audit trail frequency shall be frequent periodic audit trail review procedure and extent by quality department shall be defined in your sop to maintain the compliance and if your system is the critical one your critical gxp system frequency of audit trail shall be frequent the duty review of audit trail you have to think about the data criticality your generated error messages criticality and the time of generation of the error message why because if it is generated during your process process related activity then that will be the critical one to challenge your process generated error shall be evaluated with respect to category of error messages and that shall be part of your review procedure user who is handling the application should have proper training to prevent any unacceptable error generation messages in audit trail because that will challenge our compliance level application audit trail should capture the activity on real time basis whatever activity is performing that shall be captured immediately in audit trail and that is the key acceptance of any gxp application last and not the least the critical one is your audit trail should be in non editable format your audit table data shall not be editable if your audit trail is in editable mode then that will challenge our compliance level if we consider the regulatory expectation of gxp audit trail then we must consider each activity step of the application shall be captured through audit trail so what is the expectation of regulatory bodies to maintain a audit trail your application audit trail shall capture the data on real time basis and each and every step of your application shall be captured in audit trail prevention of any unauthorized activity in application audit trail like copy move deletion or modification all these things should be captured in your application and that is the expect expectation of any regulatory body and real time update of data yes your audit trail should have the capability to capture all the data on real time basis so some of the reference of regulatory guidelines you have already seen that there are several guidelines are available like 21 CFR part 11 EU annex 11 annex 4 of WHO and all the guidelines you will get from the description box of this video so viewers do you have any thought process with respect to audit trail of gxp application then share us in comment box of this video thank you for watching this video thank you